Ashley is a 16 month old girl with dwarfism. This is a video of her learning to walk for the very first time. Ashley is affected by a genetic disorder called achondroplasia, which affects around 1 in every 25,000 people. Individuals with this disorder have a short stature. The average adult height is around 120 centimeters or 4 feet. They develop an average sized torso with small arms and legs but a large forehead. Achondroplasia is an autosomal dominant mutation on the short arm of chromosome 4. The fibroblast growth factor receptor 3 gene is affected. Thus, bone growth and development is stunted. Normally, cell membranes filter the substances that enter or exit a cell through the use of hundreds of different types of receptors. Fibroblast growth factor receptors normally transport fibroblast growth factors into the cell. Even though the name may suggest otherwise, actually, fibroblast growth factor's normal purpose is to stop bone growth. This prevents overgrowth. When growth factors bond to their receptors, a signal is sent into the cell telling it to stop growing and dividing. However, with mutations, FGFR3 molecules become overactive, transmitting signals into the cell even when no FGFs are bound to them. This causes growth plate development to become inhibited. A normal FGFR gene has 2,520 bases, where base number 1,138 is normally guanine. In 98% of mutation cases, adenine replaces guanine at that location. In another 1%, cytosine is in that location. Let's now examine the inheritance patterns of achondroplasia. Since this condition is autosomal dominant, only one gene from the parents has to be affected in order for the child to inherit the disorder as well. However, 80% of affected individuals are born to parents of average stature. If both parents are normal, then how do their children become dwarfs? In these children, their disorder is caused by a new mutation, where the inherited trait doesn't come from either parent. If a child homozygous for achondroplasia is produced, the child will die shortly after birth 